Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb, and today in this tutorial video, we will learn how any of the controller who can support the Modbus TCP protocol can communicate with the WinCC SCADA. So in this particular uh, example, suppose we have any of the controller, any of the brand controller, and those controller can uh, work as a Modbus TCP server, we'll configure as a Modbus TCP server to our controller. And then um, we'll configure the WinCC as a Modbus TCP client. So Modbus TCP client fetch data from the uh, Modbus TCP server. So in this particular uh, uh, tutorial, we'll see how we can configure WinCC to communicate over the Modbus TCP protocol. So let's see practically. So we'll open the semantic WinCC Explorer to configure WinCC SCADA. So WinCC Explorer is open. Come here in the file, click a new, select the single user project and press OK. Put the, your project name like Modbus. Project 01. Click at create. So WinCC Project Explorer is open and project is successfully created. So we'll configure uh, WinCC SCADA as a Modbus TCP client. And from the PLC side, like the controller side, if you have the physically controller. You can configure first your controller as a Modbus TCP server. And for this tutorial uh, video, I have already the Modbus TCP application, ModSim. It will work as a Modbus TCP server. So in this particular tutorial, we'll use uh, this ModSim uh, as a Modbus TCP server. So as we already have the Modbus TCP server so i will configure wincc scada as a modbus tcp client so to co uh, configure uh, the communication uh, protocol in wincc come here the uh, tag management right click open and then come here in the tag management upper area right click add a new driver and select the modbus tcp and then come here right click add a new connection put here your plc name suppose i will put s7400 okay so right click here click at the connection parameter so here you have to put the uh, ip address port name and station address of your uh, modbus tcp server so for my modbus tcp server ip address is 192 1680.142 and the port number is 502 by default Modbus port and the st uh, remote uh, slave ID address is 1. Uh, you can see here the address is 1. So you can put it according to your Modbus TCP uh, server or your PLC uh, details, uh, your PLC IP address and slave id address click ok so put your group name or area name i will uh, suppose in this particular example we have the mixer one suppose the name of mixer one so here we we'll add the tag our tag suppose my tag on one feedback and i have the data type binary tag and the i'm using the boolean while so address is 100 starting address and similar manner i will just copy so i will rename the name and here the my tag name is next tag 101 and here 
I have command. Okay, so, and the command address is one one zero. Similar manner, I have some analog tag also like level. So level, I have sign sixteen bit. Then integer value, and after that, we have the address like I have data in holding register. So here I will put it address of the holding register. Okay then just drag and drop it and I will rename like we have temperature and then I have speed and then we have level set point and here here I will my set point address starting with 110. So that's it. Just click here and close it. So we finished the protocol configuration part. And uh, now we we'll go toward the graph uh, graphics scheme development. As in the previous tutorial video, we we'll learn already. Uh, how to develop the uh, static graphic. So I will import the same our gra uh, graphic screen to reduce the uh, time. And you will also learn if uh, like you already created some graphic screen in any other project, how you can import in any new project. So here, uh, graphic designer, right click and then open. So our graphic designer is open. Uh, click here file and then click at open and just copy the this folder address name then click at cancel then just paste your link here and open it and from here just uh, this this two folder like previously we already developed on the, our screen so that I already exported here and I copy this uh, SVG library folder and user data folder from my previous project so I will copy it and same I will paste it my newly created project that's it and now now we'll open it click here and open it. So you can see uh, our previously developed graphic screen is open. We will change some configuration. Suppose here click at background, then property, picture object, geometry area, and my this monitor resolution is 1920 and height is 1000 and I will just zoom out here it is so the graphic screen is now successfully imported in the new project so now I will assign just assign the tag name so level and I will assign level okay temperature and then speed press ok and select the pump and now this pump uh, I want once the my bit is true then the color will change for this pump so here come in animation double click add a new animation tag select your tag from where data will come for pom one the pom one feedback will come select the data type boolean then add a property select the basic color so i want once the false this same color should be there once the value is true i want to change the green color 
similar manner in the pump 2 also i will add a new animation i will select the tag pump 2 feedback select the data type add a basic color and i will select the green color and for tank level also like come here in the property select the symbol object i want once the level value change this bar graph also will move accordingly so right click over the fill value uh, fill level value and select the tag option and select your tag and also here the we have the set point for level also right click and also change the tag for the level also so level set save it and then right click define picture as a star picture and once it's save just run the project So here you can see uh, we are able, successfully able to connect with Modbus TCP server. So to check your communication status, just open the tag management. So if here you are bring your mouse here and you are able connection status is okay. If connection status is okay, it means you are successfully able to communicate with your controller so here you can see some simulated value is coming and level temperature and speed and so here you can see whatever we are getting value here same we are getting value here in the level temperature and speed and we'll simulate suppose i want to run this pump i will click it on so as you can see, the pump is running. And similar matter, if I will put some set point value also, that I will also able to get it. So here you can see, I just put the 44 value, I'm getting here the 44 value. So I'll stop this project and i will add some buttons to send the command so i will add suppose i will add a button i will put on i will increase the font size I just want bold. Okay. So now I want once I will click this, then the true val val value should write inside uh, Modbus TCP server. So come here in event and button, then mouse, then the left action, right click, direct connection, constant zero. Uh, sorry, if I want on, just put it one. Then select the tag and after that select suppose pom1. This this uh, tag I want to write the value. That's it. Just I will duplicate it and I will change the text and put it off. Animation, then left uh, action, right click, direct connection. And here I'll put just the zero value. So I will align it and after that just put it here. That's it. Just save it and run the project. So here, so now. I will receive value here in this address. So press on button. And here you can see 1110 I received the value. I will press it off. 
so now you can see the value is off here so like that we can configure like digital input digital output analog input and analog output tags inside WinCC SCADA uh, over the Modbus TCP protocol thanks for watching this video